Okay, I'd like to talk about claiming a space, claiming a room. Um, this comes in pretty handy in a couple of situations. Like, for example, if you're eating dinner and you don't want your dog sitting there watching you eat or begging at the table. Um, I can't stand to have a dog sitting there watching me while I'm eating, so I like to claim the room. This is not a sit-stay. I'm not just putting my dog in a sit-stay outside of the room or sending her to her bed. Um, to me, that just says you don't really trust your dog. It's like saying, ah, I don't really trust you, so I'm just going to make you go to your bed. This is more claiming the space. It's basically saying this space is off limits until I tell you otherwise. You start off really slow with this for a dog that's not used to this, just to get them used to this concept. Just because I'm in this room doesn't mean you can be in here. So I walk into the room and turn around and claim the space like this. Out. Good girl. I get down to her level. I physically use my energy to make sure she backs up. She has to think I'm going to step on her paws. Um, I have to have it really clear in my mind which line I don't want her to cross. And the timing here is crucial. The second she thinks about crossing that line, i got to call her on it. Psst. Good girl. Initially, I'm just going to come two or three feet in and just do, just do a few seconds. Just get her used to this concept that just because I'm in here doesn't mean you can be in here. So I get down to her level, I claim the space, no, out. Psst. Okay. Good girl. Yeah, good girl. And then I go for a little bit longer each time. So then, as I start to walk into the room, psst, no, out. Good girl. I come a few feet further this time. Wait a couple seconds longer. Okay, hi. Okay. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. That's claiming a space.